Yeah. Why are my highs always so loud and high pitched and annoying? Sorry. Hi. How's it going? Okay, so hello. This choker is cutting off their supply to my brain. Okay, so let's talk. There are two aspects of my life that I would say take up the majority. And let's describe this in a Venn diagram. So here's a Venn diagram of my life. On one side you see it is horror. Uh, horror fills most of my life. I read horror novels, I watch horror movies, I write horror stories. You can listen to my podcast to check out my newest story, link below. Horror has pretty much been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. But there is also another side of my life, and that is Friends, the television show. So I have loved Friends forever, but in recent years I have come to be quite obsessed with it. Every night before I go to bed I either watch Friends or the Golden Girls. Now, there's a very narrow part that these two points meet at. All of a sudden, I realize that there is something that these two parts of my life have in common. Enter Gladys. So Gladys is an original buffet. Let's see how many times I can quote Friends references throughout this. Gladys is an artwork that Phoebe Buffay creates in the television show Friends. And one night I was just sitting thinking about how I love horror and you know all of my videos are about horror, but it would be cool to do something Friends related. Then genius struck and I thought, holy sh I'm going to make my own Gladys. I want people to walk in and just be like, get that legless witch out of here! Now, this process was a lot more time consuming than I had considered. Yes, it's ridiculous and absurd, but also a ton of fun. So I hope that you are interested in this and that you will watch this video and see my Gladys. I also wanted to preface this video by saying, and I've said it before, that I am the most unartistic person in the world. If it comes out looking like shit, it's who cares, but uh... You know, let's have fun and let's make Gladys. So here's a picture of Gladys, and as you can see in the background of the photo, it's quite detailed. It looks like a, an older photo that was like repurposed to make this painting. I had to figure out how to do that. Now, mine did not come out great. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna warn you right now, it's not great. But I think it came out good enough because it's in the background, it's not the focal point of the painting. So let's see how let's see how that happened. So I started by painting the canvas and then I realized that the top of the canvas actually looks like the painting has faded or come off of the canvas and then I was like, oh my god I already ruined this. The top isn't brown. It's lighter. <laughs> And then I thought, wow, you're an idiot, just turn the canvas around. So I did that. Oh, and I was also watching a scary video on YouTube, so that's why I was making that face. I painted it um, all one color, all a lighter brown color. By the way, I filmed this in the morning, at night, all times of the day, so uh, the colors are probably a little off and weird, but that's why. Um, I left some room on the top, and then I took the brown and mixed it with white and made a really pale color at the top to show that um, that like where the paint's missing. I also took some dark brown to make like the paint the windows in, there's a door in the background, there's a staircase, there's the floors, the tiles of the floors, there's cur there are curtains, oh and a chandelier. So the curtains didn't turn out exactly as I had hoped but whatever. And after looking at my masterpiece I realized wow this really sucks. Then I just added some plants. After that, I highlighted some areas, and then, like I said, there were some pastel y uh, kind of greens and blues and stuff, so I just took that and threw it wherever. This is the finished product up to this point. As you can see, I'm very sure about it. But after I did that, oh, I also bought a head. The head I had to cut, obviously, to make it flat to lay against the painting, which was a whole the hell lot harder than I thought it would be and it took me probably 20 minutes to cut this head in half. Not, not a phrase I'm used to saying. Finally, I got the head broken up into two pieces and I could start the painting process. So the next thing that I did was I painted the actual face of Gladys, which is quite creepy. So here I am just doing the eyebrows, the eyes, the mouth, that sort of thing. <laughs> that is terrifying. Oh my God, you're gonna have nightmares about this. I'm so sorry. Next up we have a square piece of styrofoam that I 
just kind of cut into a little bit and made a shoulder out of. By the way, in Walmart, they have a teeny tiny easel and a teeny tiny canvas. And I thought, oh my god, I need to make miniature Gladys. Anyways, so I had trouble finding hair and I was going to try to find a wig somewhere. But then I called my brother and I was like, hey, do you have any hair? And he's like, yeah, I have a whole bag of hair. <laughs> uh, he's a mask maker, so that's why. So I got some hair from him and I kind of just hot glued it wherever I pleased. There was no order. Next, I bought a Halloween hand prop and I cut the fingers off and painted it the same color that I painted the face and the neck. Next up, we wrapped it in fabric. Then it was time to make her body shape. I made her torso out of cardboard and then I used a paper towel roll to make one of her arms. Then after that, I used the uh, fabric which I got at Walmart and I made a clothes out of it. I made a dress out of it. This part was probably the most difficult. And then I glued on her arm. Dang it, has my fly been open this whole time? Oh, I'm not gonna redo it. I apologize to society. Okay, um, actually also I was gonna make the frame work around the painting. I was just gonna buy pieces of wood and paint it, but luckily I found this like $12 frame at, at Walmart and it was pretty close to the frame in the television show. We added a brooch onto her dress and we added some jewels up into the chandelier. All right, look at that monstrosity. <laughs> Why is her shoulder so hard? She is complete in all her horrifying glory. This is honestly terrifying. I don't want this in my room while I sleep. <laughs> so let's check out how Gladys turned out, shall we? <laughs> She's so nice and big. I know what you're thinking, Anda, where are you going to display Gladys oh so proudly? Let me show you. And I thought this is the perfect place for Gladys. So that was my process of making Gladys. That's about it. I will see you again on Friday. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Uh, tune in next week when I make Glynis. Thank you, my babies. Thank you.